guys, uh, DM Scotty here. Good to have you with me. I have a really, really cool one for you today. It's uh, We're going to make some flames for some fire bases that I'm doing that are like area, dangerous areas to fight near. Uh, and the flames are translucent. Um, so this is a great, cheap technique for making these kind of flames. And this can be used for just about anything. You could use it for magical fires or, you know, any kind of mundane fires. Um, but it's a really neat technique and I'm excited to show you. So let's go to the table and we'll uh, start crafting that. All right, this project is starting out with a piece of clear plastic. This is just a uh, like a slide projector, or a uh, overhead piece of plastic. You could use anything. You could really use a, just a sheet protector or whatever. Um, it doesn't really have to be that strong, uh, but it needs to be the base for the project. So I'm going to set that down and grab my glue gun. So what I want to do is I want to create uh, like a faux flame, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, pulling hot glue up and down on this plastic, okay? And then just pull it. Run out of hot glue here. Okay. So then just continue just up and down. So you're getting that kind of a thing, okay? And I'm going to do different heights, all right? See here, you can see what I've got going on there. So I'm going to do different heights, and I'll just go across. And what I'm going to do is once this dries, I'll do another layer. So um, I could start, like, pull across there and then just pull up into the, all right? So you'll want to do several layers, and I'm going to do this on both sides of the clear plastic, okay? So I get a nice thick um, flame, all right? So uh, I'll finish that up and we'll move on to the next step. All right, I finished my strip of fire and you can see uh, it has a lot of texture on it. And I did both sides um, and I did went over it several times to give it uh, strength. Okay, now basically I need to, to cut out the flame. So what I'll do is I'll just pick a spot and cut through a little thick there. So I got a chunk. And then I'll just cut off the bottom there. And then for the top, you can just start um, cutting into the top like this and getting the peaks of the flames. So I'll finish that up and then show you, give you a look. All right, so here's my flame, flame I cut out. And the trick to this is you don't want to cut them all the same um, length, okay? Cut them different lengths, all right? So there we have uh, one of our flames ready and we'll cut out the rest and then um, we'll continue on. So I made the base uh, for this out of a thin piece of cardboard and I applied um, hot glue to it, just ran the hot glue over it. Uh, that'll reinforce it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I need to start putting the flames on. So I'm going to grab one of my flames here and um, I want to apply it. So I'll put some hot glue on it. And then I will put it on here. I don't want to put it on straight. I'm going to kind of bend it like this. So let me uh, hold this for a minute and then we'll come on, come back and move to the next step. So now that's all attached, but I want to blend it into the base a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, small glue gun and um, run along the edge and then pull up into the fire itself. All right. So I'll just continue that. And that kind of blends it into the base a little better. All right. And uh, uh, definitely gives it some more strength on the base. 
All right, so I'll do the other side, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll continue. We'll put the other ones on, and then we'll move to the next step. So here we go. Here's looking out my workshop window, and I wanted to show you uh, the fire kind of backlit. So we'll bring it up, and you can see that the the uh, light goes through those uh, flames uh, really neat. So it'll be like a translucent uh, effect. So now that we've got all the flames on, uh, let's go to the next stage and uh, we'll go to the table and do that. For this part of the project, we're going to use our white glue. And I'm going to do some areas on the, uh, the fire base here. And I'll just start filling these out. And uh, I'll get these on and then come back and uh, we'll move to the next step. Now that I have my uh, glue pools on the base, I'm going to use my construction sand and it's just a matter of uh, covering those up. So I'll just start covering up those glue pools and then we'll move on to the next step. So I have removed the excess sand from the base and you can see there, um, so there we go. So now the next step is I want to paint this, but I want to keep the translucency of the flame, so that's the trick. So I'm going to use a yellow and I'm going to water it down quite a bit. So I'm trying to get a um, very wet yellow and I'll start just painting it on, including over the um, the uh, sand and then including the flame so I'll get a nice and, then, and I want to make it wet enough that it's still staying like a translucent okay so now what I'll do is I'll finish this up and then we'll move on to the next step I've uh, finished up the yellow and let it dry, and then I've dry brushed on a layer of uh, pumpkin orange, uh, put a little bit on the flames and some on the base, and now we'll move to the next step. So now we're just continuing with the same brush uh, with the red, and we're just going to brush some red on there. Now the red will, uh, is kind of like the layer of heat, I, look, I think of it as, like the lighter the hotter color would be underneath the light, the uh, darker color. So then for the flame, you want to take some on your brush and then just kind of pull down or up. And there we go. So you get some nice flame on there. Okay. So now we'll uh, move on to the next step, finish this up and move on to the next step. Now our final phase is just dry brushing on some black and I, uh, it's going to look like the base is, um, you know, the debris from the, the burning and everything. So I'm going to kind of do the edge like that and then go in somewhat. So this will make it look like burn or ash or whatever. And then just fill that out and then you'll be good to go. So we'll finish this up, and then we'll come back to the table and uh, see what it looks like next to some miniatures. So here we go. We have our adventurers moving into the dangerous area. There's infernos erupting, people screaming. Um, let me give you a closer look at that. So you can see how the light really plays through those uh, fire peaks um, on that base and really gives it a nice, nice look. Um, these are great for, you know, areas of danger. Um, you could do anything with this technique. You could make the magical flames of different colors. Um, you could make smaller bases. You could use them for spell type attacks, uh, firewalls, uh, just about, there. you know, anything. The, the possibilities with this are endless. And really all it is is just glue, it's just, just a piece of plastic and, and glue gun. And that's all there is to it and some painting. Um, you, know, if you're, you know, if you're fighting, you know, uh, if you're fighting a monster, you know, the 
the person could knock the monster into the fire and then you know they take damage or you know knock them over into it and that kind of thing so it really gives a lot of possibilities um, of you know fighting in a dangerous area and uh, also you could uh, you know if they're if the players are close enough to the fire you can give them damage from just the heat of the fire these are pretty big fires going on so not even just falling in the fire and possibly catching fire but you know being even close to it so that's like a nice um, thing you know it might uh, force the players to use some uh, heat resi fire resistance or that kind of thing so there we go some really nice fire stands that really um, have a lot of possibilities as far as what you could do with them there's it's pretty much endless to your imagination but that's that's a great technique and i'll see you next time on the craft hey crafters i hope you've enjoyed this episode of the dm's craft uh, make sure to subscribe and i have tons of other videos as you can see i am the originator of the 2.5 d method of crafting tiles i also do dirt cheap terrain for the table if all this intrigues you make sure you check out all the videos below also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!